Hello, I'm Paul Galley and I'm uh, Chair of the Friends of East Pines Park and I thought I would just give you a quick tour of our wonderful park and all the great things that we do here. Um, it's a cold December day at the moment so uh, and it's been very wet so it's not probably the best time to show you in full screen but it gives you a flavour of some of the things that we do and what we represent. So I'm going to give you a quick tour. I'm going to start with the, uh, the football pitch. We're really proud of that. We've done a lot of work in there, uh, partnership with Fleetwood Town, and that's really established a lot of answers to um, antisocial behaviour and so on. And we literally have started with a field. We've put drainage in, um, although you can see a big puddle there, so we're going to be working on that over the uh, the winter. But we created FC's Pines, and it's a, it's a great team and a great effort, and it just gives uh, kids something to do and focus and give them a respect agenda and the idea is that if they're good enough they can link in with Fleetwood Town or if they just enjoy football they can come on a Friday night and have a game in a safe uh, place. And then next to that behind there is our playground and we've done a lot of work with that. Uh, we've resurfaced it, we've put new play equipment in, a big new pirate boat and uh, yeah even on a cold day it gets a lot of use. And then next to that is the learning garden and the learning garden is something um, we designed so the kids can interact with gardening and planting and so on. Um, we've got a, a, a elm, of course, cat and some, some boats in there, so we try to interact with the, the library. And then across you'll see the railings. Now those railings weren't there until the last few years and we've put all of those in to make the park much more accessible to the community. It, was, it always felt slightly dangerous before because you couldn't see in and couldn't see out. So uh, it's taken the park into the community and made it a real a real hub and we're really proud of that. And along the edging of, of the railings, something around 4,000 perennial plants. Um, so uh, we started with a park that didn't have any plants in it uh, six, seven years ago. So again, we're really, really proud of that. And then coming into this section here is our cafe. Uh, in there, uh, which is part of the library cafe and uh, our cafe for the park. So it gives the park access to toilets and so on. At the moment it's closed because of Covid, but uh, we've we built this garden here. This was all overgrown when we took it on and we've put a, a gate in just here. So you can see the gate, which normally we would have that open. And uh, just beyond there you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see, our, our polytunnel. And we're really proud of the polytunnel. We put that in a couple of years ago, or two years ago now. And again, it's a real lifeline. Uh, we can grow all our own plants now. And that has a, has a big, big impact. So yeah, it's a, a little tour of the, the park itself and what we try and do and the work that we've, we've started. But we are, we're really, really proud of it. And you get a, a flavor as you look across and see the close up of the railings and um, the whole vibe of what we've done. And we've planted all these trees as well can see down the avenues and they've really taken and uh, yeah yes it's, uh, it's something that we uh, we believe has made a, a big difference with the, the community so I'm going to head off now and take you to the three pocket parks that we want to uh, to adopt and uh, and show you uh, our, our plans for them. This is a better view of the railings as well give you an idea of uh, what they look like and the type of detail we're trying to, to put in and we're, we're again we're really really proud of those uh, and all the money for these was raised by the community and uh, yeah it's, uh, it's made the park a, a really nice uh, safe space and something we're really, uh, really proud of the um, as you can see the corner here again this is a I think a beautiful shape to it and feel to it um, Again, it just creates a nice backdrop for for the park and some of our palm trees. And this is looking at the park from a slightly different angle. Um, yeah, there we go. To give you a real flavour of what it looks like at all the angles. And again, none of this was was here. The and that was our first project, the owl. Um, so yeah. Uh, it was a wooden carving from a tree that had died. So yeah, I'll uh, head off now and show you the uh, the uh, gardens that we want to adopt, the pocket parks. I've recorded this uh, remotely as it was quite windy at this spot, but we are now at the first pocket park that we want to uh, build. And uh, you can see that we've got three trees here. 
the Escalonia on the left, which we planted some time ago and has done a great job in terms of producing antisocial behaviour. Um, now, the, around the trees we plan to plant lots of uh, flowers, um, really brighten the, the area up. There are three trees currently, and we plan to plant a fourth tree. Um, we also plan to tidy up the bench there um, and really make this a, a bright and inviting uh, space and also somewhere that people will sit and enjoy that bench. And then you see the, uh, the rockery. We plan to replant the rockery and also paint the, uh, the signage there, which actually says, Welcome to Anchor's Own the Garden of Blackpool, which is a most fitting theme. And the idea, as I say, is to create something that's uh, really special and can uh, make people proud of the area. Um, and uh, what you'll see in a, in a second is uh, a general view of the uh, area. And right down there is a view towards uh, East Pines Park. We'll now head off to the second pocket park that we are looking to uh, adopt. And uh, we'll uh, head over there now. We're now at the second pocket park and the uh, plan here is very much in the same spirit as the first is to plant lots of uh, bee friendly perennial plants at the bottom of the uh, the trees there and also uh, to repaint the uh, the bench at the bus stop. You can see the bus is in on our right hand side at the moment and is a very busy uh, bus space. Uh, a lot of people use this stop. Um, the seat will paint in uh, tangerine, so a bright orange colour, dementia friendly, and make the whole area very inviting. The rockery, as you can see, is, uh, mainly has weeds in it at the moment. We'll replant that, uh, plant lots of bee friendly, bright colours, and really make this a uh, heart of the local community and make it a very uh, popular space for anybody wanting to uh, uh, not just catch a bus but to come and meet their neighbours and, and enjoy the space. We'll now head off to the third uh, public park, pocket park that we're looking to adopt and we'll see you there shortly. And welcome to the third pocket park. This is in the Blackpool Coastal Housing Area and the plan here is to paint the, uh, the wooden sleepers replant it with sea grasses and bee friendly plants and really make this a hub for the area and bring the park to the residents that live in this, this area. This project's been uh, financed by Blackpool Coastal Housing and uh, by combining the other two pocket parks with this project and the work at East Pines Park we'll deal with a lot of antisocial behaviour issues, we'll improve uh, the uh, the isolation issues that many people have been facing through COVID and most of all will uh, make uh, the area look great, will improve volunteer numbers, everybody wins in this scheme so uh, if you could support us that would be amazing.